Welcome to Creeping It Real. I am Judah. Over the weekend, I went and I saw Deadpool in Wolverine. Like I think most of the states did. Now, how can I justify doing a review of this movie on my horror channel? Am I a sellout now? Am I a grifter? I sure hope so, because those guys make money. I was thinking that maybe if I just dangled these little guys, my uh, Marvel zombie, I got my zombie Wolverine here and my zombie Deadpool, maybe that could, could I tie it in that way? Am I justified now for doing this on my horror channel? I don't think so. I'm definitely a sellout. Bring on the hate, guys. If you're a Disney Marvel fan, you're going to love this. If you feel that everything after Endgame has been gold, you're going to love this. I didn't. To me, it was just okay. For me, also, everything after Endgame went downhill, other than Spider-Man No Way Home. And I really just saw that because I wanted to see Tobey Maguire again as Spider-Man. But all of you fanboy girls... Go out and enjoy this movie. Okay, you're going to like it. I'm not going to give any spoilers. I got to tell you, as soon as this movie started, I didn't know if I was more horrified at the hideous CG graphics or the fact that the parents right next to me brought their eight-year-old child to this movie. What are you people thinking? And that there wasn't just one set of parents. There were several bringing their under 10 kids to this movie. This is not for kids. Gosh, dang, people. I don't have children, so I can't criticize. Yes, I can, and I just did. This is not for kids. Back to the CG. The CG sucked. Okay, no spoilers here, but there was, uh, mm, maybe, there was metal. It was CG metal, and I could tell that it was CG. Metal is one of the easiest things to CG to look real. And I, all I could think was, this is CG. That's bad CG. Again, to me, this movie was just whatever. I had fun. I walk away. I forget about it. I will not revisit this movie. I would have been fine not going to the cinema to see this. I would have been fine, you know, picking it up from the library or streaming it. Uh, I'm not going to stream it because it'd be on Disney and I'm not, not going to do Disney Plus. There was one, for lack of better way to say it, a cameo. It, it wasn't a cameo. One surprise character came on the screen and I was like, oh yeah, yes. And, and I'm not like this Marvel fanboy. And I really have no connection to this character no, no deep-rooted like love for this character it was more so that's right this is the man right here this is the man don't give me any of this disney bs this person right here is this character and there was even a comment in the movie that kind of was like he's the only one and i was like that's exactly right the only one so I was excited for that, which is really weird. And, and I just want to mention, I'm not a huge comic book fan. My, my older brother, who's 10, 10 years older than me, massive comic book fan. I think probably at his peak, maybe 16, 20 long boxes filled with comic books. So I grew up with it, him digging into it and me flipping through them, never reading them, but flipping through them and seeing the images and him kind of telling me what's going on. Of course, I obviously watched the X-Men cartoon. So I, it's like I have a, I don't know, ancillary information almost, like not super deep, but I recognize images. Some of the things in the movie I remember from childhood. It, it, was, it was fun. It was fun. But it, again, it was just whatever. But go see it, enjoy it for what it is. That's what I have to say about it. Not a fantastic movie, but fun. We finally got to see, you know, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman 
together, the whole lore that they put together leading up to this, you know, you causing you to wish that it would happen, but feeling that it never would. And then it did. And it was fun. Uh, there was a lot less uh, cameos than I expected to see. Uh, but there was enough. And, and, and they weren't just like people popping in. I mean, there was definitely a few where you just saw them in the distance. But there was substantial characters coming in and being part of this story. But again, I'd wait for streaming or purchase it or whatever you're going to do. Thanks for watching. This has been Creeping It Real.